So here's another programming challenge for you to try out. Uh, this time around, however, I'm not going to ask you to implement a function. Rather, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the implementation of a very simple function, and I'm going to ask you to debug it. But you're not you're not allowed to actually use a debugger to do it. If you want, you could do it, but that's not going to help. It's going to defeat the purpose of the exercise. I want you to try it out on a piece of paper and see if you can debug it without actually using a debugger. And I'm going to give you some, some tips and guidelines on how to do that properly. Now here's the function, and uh, it's also dealing with a singly linked list. So we're still dealing with singly linked lists. Uh, each node in the link in the list has a pointer to the next element, but not going backwards, not going to the previous element. And the function is the following. It's called remove head, and it's being passed a pointer to the head of the list. And this is what it does. First, it frees the memory that the pointer head is pointing to. And then it takes that pointer and it makes it point to the next element that head was pointing to. So essentially what we've done is clear out the first element, then make our head pointer point to the second element of the list, making it the first element of our updated list. So this function needs to remove the head of the list. Now there are bugs in this function and you're going to have to figure them out. Now to do so, um, there is a strategy in approaching such such questions. You might, you might even be asked that question in an interview. The first thing you want to do is check that whatever is given to the input, whatever data is, is passed to the, the function, is, uh, is, is passed properly. And that we're getting all the, the, the information that we need in order to perform the operation that we want to perform. So first, ensure that the input is sane and is complete. Then, you want to look at the, the code line by line. You want to make sure that it's working correctly. Every single line is doing what it's supposed to be doing. Then finally, you also want to look at the output. At the end of the function, once the function finishes its execution, it must have accomplished something. And you want to make sure that it did in fact accomplish that. Make sure that it updates what it needs to update and returns whatever it needs to return. And then at the end, you also want to check some special cases, if there are special cases that are associated with the uh, problem at hand.